everyone i am deepan mol singh today we'll discuss about polymers polymer is a word which originates from greek word where poly means many and mer means unit polymers are materials which contain repeating units in today's video we will discuss about a special class of polymers which are known as molecular imprinted polymers and their application in biosensing what are molecular imprinted polymers these are the polymers which have an imprint of a particular molecule for example we have got a monomer solution and we have mixed that solution with a template molecule and we have allowed that mixture to get polymerized now the polymer which is formed it will contain the template molecules in its matrix if we remove these template molecules from the polymer matrix we get some cavities and these cavities are of same shape and of same geometry as that of template molecule now if we use these imprinted cavities to bind the template molecule for which these cavities were generated even if other substances are present in the mixture containing the template molecule the template molecule selectively goes and binds to these cavities and no other substance can bind to these cavities as these are selective for the template molecules this principle of mip is used for biosensing of several chemical and biological molecules if we coat a conducting imprinted polymer onto an electrode and if we add a mixture containing template molecules the template molecules goes and binds to the imprinted cavities present in the imprinted polymer which can result in change in current response due to the binding of the template with the imprinted cavities this change in current response can be studied using cyclic voltammetry or electrochemical impedance spectroscopy some of the factors that affect the synthesis of molecular imprinted polymers are template monomer interaction template monomer ratio reaction conditions such as temperature ph and the most important is the removal conditions of the template this example aniline is polymerized into polyaniline and if we note polyaniline contain conjugated double bonds along with the lone pair of nitrogen due to this conjugation polyaniline shows good conductivity and is a common polymer which is used to generate imprinted cavities in our study we synthesized molecular imprinted polymer for thyroxine so in this process we mixed thyroxine with aniline to synthesize polyaniline which contain thyroxine and we removed thyroxine from the polyaniline matrix to generate the cavities these cavities were characterized using different techniques such as afm atomic force microscopy ftir for your transfer infrared spectroscopy and hplc we also optimized the conditions to remove the thyroxine from polyaniline matrix after the cavities were generated we did the rebinding studies to see if the cavities are selective for thyroxine molecule we used thyroxine imprinted polyaniline to check the electrochemical response we coated this imprinted polymer on the electrode and after adding thyroxine in different concentrations we studied the electrochemical response we checked the change in response of peak anodic current with respect to the concentration of thyroxine on increasing the concentration of thyroxine the peak anodic current was decreasing and the limit of detection was 6.16 picogram per ml which covers the physiological range of thyroxine present in blood as well as in saliva we also tested the interference using some of the structurally similar molecules such as leothyronine phenylalanine and tyrosine and we found that there was negligible interference we got these results published 
in general of applied electrochemistry but all things can be imprinted so it's not just small molecules we can also imprint proteins as well as microorganisms such as viruses and it is noted that molecular imprinted polymers they are growing very rapidly as compared to other bio recognizing elements in case of biosensors some of the reasons for it is the advantages that molecular imprinted polymers have such as they are stable at higher temperature they are stable at extreme ph conditions they are relatively cheaper the synthesis methods are easier they are stable to light and they have relatively higher shelf life mips are not just in research they are commercially available in market some of the companies which make mips for different purposes include mip discovery mip technologies and ligar so mips are in the world for biosensing as well as for other applications thank you